Hello, sound click. I'm going to read a poem about schizophrenia, about my life, and then I'm going to talk a bit about schizophrenia. Here is the poem. It's called The Bird Cage for Spirit. My mind breaks things apart and sequences impossible order to the meaningfully spontaneous. I perceive a strange message conveying while break mind intervenes inadvertently, breaking the spirit's focus from mind and body. One sense I have of schizophrenia. Blinded by internal events too intense, I easily wander lost seeking reasons outside for my beautiful dream deep within. A shared realm entertains transformation, and I abide by the dynamic of biology, mind, emotion, and soul. Those reversed call for freedom, response, articulation, and creativity. If I ever forget my spirit, my freedom, and reduce merely my dimensions to three, break mind squeezes my breath closed, forces a halt. I needed to accept a cosmic origin, that I'm not just a meaningless chance. If this world follows only physical mechanism and no soul space has a you essence, where could real love live and who'd wait for true love? To escape the clutches of unstopping nihilist reduction in this real struggle for sane meaning and in this yearning for my source, my mind found a door to open and I could let in my imaginings to find the embrace of spontaneous expression, and I could watch on this side of the door as this side of the world did turn into a magic poem I could read. The door to spirit slid open for me, and I could disappear out there completely, until then, leaving it open, letting the cool and warm airs of spirit fill my world, Heirs of that open world that help fill physics with life, with vitality, with my breath ongoing, for the drawing and passing of air entices life into our midst. Pursue the lessons, oh, the joys of symbiosis. Schizophrenia for me has been a war against myself and those devices planted in my brain. But hold on, because I am not paranoid. I planted them myself, their devices for repression and devices for delusion. One invents a device when a method of thinking is discovered, a method to organize meaning keeping in mind that I've never been able to well organize my room, my sentences, or organize my future, one could easily see the potential confusion for my mind released to wild nature. Your mother doesn't like you to tuck in I your I feel at like odds that. with my environment, extremely feel odd for sure. Do you want to know my biggest delusion? I believed our society was one grand illusion for I couldn't believe in extreme impiety, the kind of society itself broken from reality, the kind of society abhorrent to social, emotional, or racial inclusion, a society that stomped Earth's biodiversity and stomped on fellow global citizens in holy wars of greed and creed. I became so deluded because I wouldn't believe in true evil. I made up a story that some god had weird plans, and now forgetting that, I still won't agree to see evil. Please, if you dig this poem, go to dance and sing some music, and make love, communicate. In my waiting out storm schizophrenic, I longed to experience this world's sunlight again. 
feel the amazing release of your light deeply profound in every moment because really you see I've been meaning to explore and surrender to experiential discovery. Gaia asks for tears, you phoenix. So heal earth with love on a never-ending quest. Seek freedom in the sadness for the beauty that we are. Go emerge. You can fly free from your cage. Indoor weather of this new world home is provided by the heat pump. A concept of living for the future, yes. But all components of this dream home are being manufactured today. Tomorrow, they can be part of your home, too. But for us, the wonders of tomorrow and the way of life we have achieved depend on freedom to build and grow on the personal liberty that inspired the men of Lexington. But now our freedoms are threatened by forces that would crush our liberties and tyrannize the minds of men. Against these forces, we have the weapons of freedom. Courage. Faith. And the creative spirit. And we have the tool that built our way of life. Productivity. America.